All right, shalom, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, our glory, our honors unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kafadash, the longest of the apostles and elders of the great millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. It's Brother Tazai Wan from JMS Atlanta, coming with another lesson, uh, another update on the MOTB. Um, and uh, I was um, on the uh, web just, you know, searching for a topic that I was able, you know, that I'd be able to go into. And, you know, the first thing popped in my head was, of course, the coming MOTB and uh, that technology, right? Because you got these Israelites out here that they would tell you that uh, the prophecy in Revelation 13 chapter from the 16th verse on down is dealing with sin or is dealing with Christianity, all right? Uh, but that, that prophecy is clearly talking about something physical, okay? As we hear GMS always say, all right, we tell you that it's, um, for, well, first and foremost, the word in the Greek there uh, for the word mark in Revelation 13 and 16 is the Greek word charagma, all right, which is like something engraved, right? You have to physically engrave something. You have to physically cut something, all right, in order to engrave it, which is, like I said, physical, okay? Um, so it's a device, all right? And we've been telling you that it's, it's the, uh, the micro C hip for I don't know how long, okay, years, all right? Uh, so what I did was I went to Google, okay, and um, I just typed in, um, matter of fact, let me, okay, let's go here. Let's go to, let's go to, yeah, here, all right, let's, let's go back, all right, so I just went to Google, typed this in, right, and uh, I went to the news, because I was just trying to check out the latest news on it, um, now what you can do is, you go to tools here, and you can sort by the date, all right, so you can actually see what was the latest date that this particular term was used in the news, and I'm pretty sure there's there's uh, some uh, more recent news, but of course we're dealing with the Google, okay? Um, so a lot of this news has, has come out within the past month, right? I did a video dealing with this guy here not too long ago, and um, when you can see it here, this is from Neuroscience News, right? Which is to see here links brain, spine, and body, allowing paralyzed man to move and feel. So this technology is uh, uh, being pushed out there, uh, really, especially when it comes to dealing with that brain chip, okay? It's, it's, it's pushing out, it's being pushed out there on a medical, all right? And more so for those that are, um, it just says here, paralyzed, paraplegic, all right? The more so doctors and those in the medical world are pushing the brain see here, okay? Um, and they got their different articles and things up here. Um, now this was one, now I might do something on this article here. I did some a few years back dealing with um, Sweden and how those people there are um, getting these um, C hip implants by the thousands okay but I might do a more updated video on that um, here all right so I, I just went next and so this is what I saw all right pursuing to the title okay from Dr. Fields website all right so I went to his website, drfield.com, clicked on the link, and the actual video and a short article comes up, okay? So people are using this technology and getting this technology, uh, and now the mainstream media, uh, which they, 
certain mainstream media outlets and media personalities like, like Dr. Oz and others have pushed it out there. But this is from, from what? Uh, a month ago, okay? So now Dr. Phil's talking about it, all right? Um, so let's hear, let's see here. And it says, this is from July 4th, 2023. Okay, and you can see the title here. I got she hipped. Are we ready for technology under our skin? Okay, and this is under mind and body because this is all right now. When you go into the prophecy in Revelation 13 and 16, it's talking about putting the karagma in your hand or in your forehead, which is what your mind and your body. Okay, so I'm going to read this here, and then I'll get the scripture. It says, now today more than 50,000 people worldwide have elected to receive the micro C-hip uh, implants, which allow you to pay with your hand, okay, right? Now, you see it says to receive, okay? I'm going to just highlight this. Matter of fact, let me get the whole, the whole thing here. All right? The whole first sentence. The whole first sentence, might as well stop the lesson there, okay, that ties in with the scripture. So it says, today more than 50,000 people worldwide have elected to receive, pay attention to that word, the micro C hip, which allowed which will allow you to pay with your hand, buy and selling with your hand, open your car or house door, store your medical information in case of an emergency and much more, all from your hand. Okay? So I got to go to the, 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 the famous scripture. All right? I got to go to the famous scripture. And, and that's a spirit that... Uh, that term is being used, okay? That's the spirit that that term is being used because it lines up with the prophecy uh, from what I'm going to read here in uh, Revelation, the 13th chapter, okay? So this is Revelation 13 and 16, okay? All right, uh, 16 and 17, all right? It starts to get a little bit more deep when you get into the 18th verse. But this, these verses here, or these two verses are the main, main, um, main points I want to get. So it says, and he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive, all right? And you see that word there, all right? The M arc, okay? Which is the word in the Greek there is karagma. All right, in their right hand or in their foreheads. So it says they were going to receive it, okay, because people are going to line up. When Esau pushes this technology out there, and especially with you got the uh, talks of uh, lockdowns coming, going back to masks, all right, and even updating the, uh, the jump shot, who, who's to say that they won't come with this this time? You know, so you got to get the jump shot, but then you got to get this too, all right? Because we know how bad the economy is, all right? People have been taking the last jump shot and, 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 and you know, reports have come out to where people haven't been doing so well. So they may say, well, you know, instead of a, uh, a, a, a uh, <laughs> how should I say this? Instead of a, uh, a um, extra, extra jump shot to take, okay, I'll say it like that, then you'll have to get this, this device, which will monitor your health, okay? Because I read in the article on Dr. Phil's website where it said that you can store your medical information in there, all right? So people are going to line up to get it as times get 
uh, uh, hard as things get worse, okay? And it's the uh, squeeze from above causes the people from below to react, all right? References the, that, uh, um, referencing the uh, Hegelian dialectic, which these elites go by, okay? So it says people are gonna receive it, but it also says that people are gonna be caused to receive it. I mean, it's gonna be made mandatory. So you're gonna have people line up to get it, which they're already doing now, okay? People are already doing it. But then you have it to where, then you have it to where, um, People are gonna be made to get it, caused, okay? Be, be forced, be made, be made, it's gonna be made a mandatory thing for you to get it, okay? Matter of fact, and since I keep going into that and saying that, right, I might as well pop this up with what's going on in Sweden. This is from supercarblondie.com, which if you're familiar with Supercar Blondie, all right, she 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 goes into a lot of um she's a so called uh influencer. Um she goes into a lot of cars and different things uh, um on social media, you know, shows these concept cars and things that these different um companies are are creating and coming up with. You know, uh, I usually, you know, when I see her, she shows off a lot of this, these new uh, high-tech vehicles, all right? But this is also on her website. Now, this is from July 5th, 2023, okay? On the tech, which says thousands of Swedes are getting, what, this here, under their skin, okay? So it says, uh, let's see if I can pause this. Uh, yeah, see, she likes to showcase these uh, these cars, right? But anyway, let's go back to the article. Uh, Pop-ups. So it says, apparently, piercings and tattoos aren't the it thing anymore, in Sweden anymore. As strange as it may sound, okay, it says, the sea hip implants are increasing in popularity. They're so popular, in fact, that thousands of people are hopping on the bandwagon, okay? So you got people that are actually lining up to get it over there in Sweden, okay? Uh, I'll, let me see. It says that these small implants about the size of a grain of rice have steadily grown have steadily grown in popularity since they were first introduced in 2015. And if you're wondering why, it's pretty simple. They're a con convenient substitute for carrying keys, credit cards, and train tickets. So you get one of these inserted under the skin and can go about your day without worrying if you've, if you've forgotten anything. And this is how they're selling it to you, okay? This is how this, they're selling it to you by way of need, uh, uh, way and means of ease and convenience, okay? You know, or you don't need to carry a wallet. You don't need to carry a purse anymore, uh, a billfold, or, you know, or all these different cards. Just put it in your uh, body, okay? Uh, apparently, they are entirely safe and work immediately after being implanted too. They don't require a battery or power source either. Are there any drawbacks then? Well, yeah, the, the, the main drawback is the Heavenly Father, okay, Yahweh, through his son, Yahweh Shai, is going to judge you, all right, for taking the MOTV, for taking this device, all right? The, the, the heavenly wrath of the Lord is going to rain down nuclear fire from missiles upon America and other places around the world, and those that take this device are going to be a part of the judgment, all right? Take part in that wrath. While the elect, the elect of, 
us Hebrew Israelites, so-called black slaves and Native Americans, are going to be delivered and only watch the destruction with our eyes. And we're going to praise the Lord, too, because we were able to escape from uh, the wrath of the Lord. Okay? But now it says here in this article, now it says, obviously, there are concerns regarding surveillance and privacy breaches, with some believing there is a dark side to the technology that has a potential for abuse. And all technology has a potential for abuse. As long as you can outside uh, um, access this technology by outside means, then it has a potential for hackers and things to, you know, to get involved. But of course, Esau is doing these things and allowing people to get it, especially in these different countries, in order to make sure things are more streamlined. Okay. Um, so that's the point on this. You know, you see people. Oh, now, now this image has gone uh, around a lot, and you see here the woman paying for whatever she's buying groceries or anything. She's using her right hand. Okay, which well, it doesn't matter what hand you use. Okay, it could be left or your right, doesn't matter. And that's clearly a payment terminal there. Okay. Um, so I just wanted to go into that because you got people that are actually receiving it. All right. So now going back to Dr. Field in this article here. Okay. Uh, it's it's it's. It's clearly, clearly a fulfillment of Revelation 13 chapter, okay? Um, so now it says, biohackers, proponents of it are an underground movement of citizen scientists who use unconventional approaches when experimenting on their own bodies outside of the traditional lab. So what are the consequences? Anastasia says she's a cyborg magician, transhumanist, and biohacker who has 47 implants and plans to get more. So they're pushing this woman in this article here. Um, let, let's see here. Now it says uh, Brandon is a healthcare technologist and uh, in tech enthusiast. Right? Let me get this. Uh, let me get. Let's see if I can get all of this highlighted here. There we go. So it says Brandon is a healthcare technologist and tech enthusiast who can use one of his hand implants to open his car. Does he plan to get more implants? A mild gobster. Now I've been hearing about this guy for years. All right. He uh, actually owns a company. And just look this name up here. A mild gobster. It's called Dangerous Things. And uh, he's been, I think since 2005, maybe you know, give or take one or two years later. But anyway, he has a company called Dangerous Things, and he's been doing this privately on his own, selling this technology, these um, uh, granularized size uh, devices to put under your skin for over a decade now, okay? Well over a decade. All right, and he, and he sells a lot because these Edom, many of these Edomites, they're eating it up, man. They're getting this technology, and they are, are using it for, you know, whatever creative ways they can think of, okay? But the crazy thing about it is now, or I should say really the, 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 the prophetic thing about it now is now you have it to where at the same time, well, I say going back then, that was when we had Bitcoin and other private digital currencies come on the scene. And then now, years later, we have governments wanting to uh, um, get into digital currency, which they are getting into digital cur uh, currency. Central bank digital currencies are on the rise now, along with digital IDs are on the rise now, okay? along with, with, with even more of an explosion of different countries having economic problems, okay? 
market crashes and things like that. So everything is moving towards going digital and people having to eventually get these devices inside of them. Okay? Um, but I was talking about this guy, Amar Grobster. He, he has a company called Dangerous Things. I mean, how much more are, uh, 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 um, of a... Uh, how much more of a of a uh, obvious sign can it be that that technology is lining up with Revelation 13 chapter? Okay. Uh, now he says here, uh, Mal Grobster, who is the founder and CEO of Bible Key Technologies, which that's another company, Bible Key. It used to be called Dangerous Things. I guess it's called Bible Key now, which I've done. I've done videos in Bible Key before too. All right. It says it's one of the leading experts in biohacking, who says he is fighting the stigma. They and they use that word stigma. This was put out there for those in the know to get an understanding, right? It says. He is fighting the stigma, which stigma actually means to, to, to prick, okay? And that's what this technology is going to do. It's going to prick you, all right? Uh, it says uh, uh, the human seeing and, and wants the public to understand the many benefits. Uh, Michelle Kennedy, CEO of Privacy Code and a partner at Privactus Cons Consulting, says she is a critic because of privacy risks. Uh, R is another critic who believes it is dangerous to our health and it must be stopped. Well, no, we want this thing to happen. I'm talking about uh, the men of the Lord, the men of Yahweh, Shalom, We want these people to get it because that is another step to the end of Esau's society and this wicked world. Okay? Now, people are going to resist and fight against it, right? And uh, myself and others of the hopeful elect, all right, we, we, we hope to have the Spirit, the Holy Spirit upon us to resist it and not take it. But as far as it being pushed out there, prophecy says it has to come, okay? Uh, it says in Dr. Charles Sophie, author of Family Values, weighs in on the psychological and emotional impacts uh, uh, of the MC has in, in this action-packed episode, viewers are left to decide if tech enthusiasts are going too far uh, in putting this in their bodies or, is, or if it is the wave of the future. Well, it's the wave of the future. Okay? It's the wave of the future. All right? Now, there's a video with this. Um, it's a 30-second video. Um, I play it. You saw I take it down. You take it down. But this is, you know, this is a uh, important prophecy, okay? And, and like I said, more and more mainstream figures are going to start talking about this. All right. People worldwide have already got chipped, and the trend seems to be growing. You can download and install applications right into your body to give your appendages abilities they were never meant to. Whenever I'm doing my hair and I drop bobby pins on the floor, it's really handy. All the doors open in my life just open at my command. What about the concerns? We don't know what the effects are. We know they're not good. Dr. Phil, check your local listings. Hey, well, there you go. So... You know, I might go check out the episode to see what, you know, these mainstream uh, talking heads are talking about, you know, to see what they're speaking on and how they're presenting it, okay? Uh, but yeah, man, you know, so like I said, on Dr. Phil, you know, they got an article, a video, I guess they had an episode on it, right, as it's saying here. So this is the... Um, the new tech of the future that they're going to eventually want everyone to get. So now let's get the judgment for the people that's going to, that will get it. So this is Revelation chapter 14 and 9, right? It says doom 
for worshipers of the beast. It says, and the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast and his image and receive his, what? Mark, in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the heavenly father. So you're going to get that judgment, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. Indignation is his righteous anger. Okay. Without mixture, meaning no mercy. Okay. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels. And that's not talking about burning in a lake of fire after you, you know, you, you, you are destroyed or you die, like what the IUIC teaches. Okay. All right. That's talking about the nuclear missiles that are going to destroy and turn America into a lake of fire. All right. So, so basically, if you get that technology, you got a missile with your name on it, <laughs> okay? It says, in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. So that means Yahweh Shai himself, the Savior, okay, he's, he's going to be down with you getting this judgment, okay? He's not going to save you if you take the karagma or get that in your skin or your forehead, okay? That shows you that there's a balance to the Lord. The Lord isn't just all love and everybody can, can be in the kingdom. No, he's going to save the elect of the Israelites and everybody else, even other Israelites that get that uh, um, in their hand, is going to be destroyed. Verse 11, and the smoke of the torment ascended up forever and ever. And not forever. That means for a time and time, meaning a long time. Okay. And they have no rest day nor night who worship the beast and his image and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. So if you take this, this uh, here, right? What does it say? Oh, well, they got the image right here, right? So if you get this, in your hand, which you got this guy, Dr. Phil, promoting, if you get this, then you're going to be destroyed. Okay? Uh, the scripture also says that you're going to get sores. Okay? You're going to get sores on your body. All right? It's not going to be an easy thing just because you get in, oh, the world is my oyster. No. There's judgments to come with taking this. Okay? You can clearly see this is a physical thing, all right? And when you look up that word for Mark in Revelation 13, 16, it says it has to be engraved under your skin, cut, okay? Let's get that. Revelation 14 and 11. And the word for Mark. All right, you see that there in the Greek, karagma. Which is what? A thing. All right, a stamp, something imprinted. When you imprint something, you have to press it, press into it. It's a physical thing, okay? A stamp. A stamp is something that you physically press into something. But this is actually going to be carved, okay? Just like you carve idolatrous images. It's like you carve statues, okay? Um, karagma from the same as G5482, a scratch or etching, all right? If you scratch something, you have to, you're like, you're basically cutting the skin, okay? So, what we're seeing here is exactly that. So this is why GMS has 100% truth, okay? Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shai. We're not going to sit here and lie to you. We're not going to sit up here and make up no, 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 uh, uh, um, no, um, out of this world breakdown and then not go into it. We get deep. We get the words. We show you images, 
We read you articles. We show you vid videos. Okay. We give you the whole truth. All right. And we're not hiding nothing. I'm not hiding nothing. I have nothing to hide. It's just me. <laughs> okay, so uh, Revelation 14 and 11, and the smoke of their torment ascendeth up forever and ever, and they have no rest day nor night, who worship the beast in his image, and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. Here is the patience of the saints. Who are the saints? The Israelites. Okay? Here are they that keep the commandments of the Most High. All right? So you keep the commandments. You have to be an Israelite, which are the saints. It says, and the faith of Yahweh Shai, which we know his name is not Jesus. Okay? So Yahweh Shai is going to deliver those that are faithful to him, that's been doing the works, keeping the commandments, and they have patience. Okay? Because when this comes, comes upon the whole planet Earth, and people in Sweden and Europe and other places and other places are getting it. People in Asia are getting it. People here in America are getting it. You're gonna to have to have you know your soul uh, um, um, hidden in the Lord, so to speak. Okay. So you know I wanted to bring this out because of uh, I just saw that this was on Dr. Phil, and you know I, I'm always doing videos on this topic here you know because this is the the main prophecy main major prophecy to speak on at the moment because troublesome times are ahead and there's more and more of these uh so-called whistleblowers are saying that there's going to be a, um, a repeat of 2020 and 2021 okay um that's the type of, of crisis that would be the perfect reason to push this technology in order to be able to get things to where the elites want them. So we have to warn you about these things coming, okay? Now, they warn you about, you know, privacy concerns, but the prophets warn you about the judgment coming from your Yahweh and your Shai, okay? Um, so, yeah, I mean, hey... <laughs> This was on, you know, Dr. Phil. They talked about it. You know, there's a whole article on it. Um, there's a video. You know, you got your pictures, your moving pictures, so you can see. And then I did, you know, my best through the spirit to edify, but I gave you the scriptures. All right? So with that, all praises go to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kadash, the Lord, the city of the apostles, the elders of the great millstone. Shalom.